this is trial two of the sapote cheesecake and I am changing uh, some ingredients to to make it better uh, for example I'm putting less milk cream I am adding more cream cheese and more sapote and I am putting less uh, leche condensada I'm putting less mirror in the cake I am trying another fruit for the mirror of the cake and I will show you uh, the ingredients that I'm changing so yeah well, after making the base exactly with the same procedure as trial one because I I didn't change that it tasted really nice um, we are going to prepare the cheesecake so the first uh, thing we're going to change in our recipe is that we're going to peel and cut the pulp of three sapote as you can see there's more sapote and this is how you're going to do it okay so you're going to want to take all of the meat or the pulp of the sapote out of each seed by cutting it and leaving it completely naked if you can say it like that so you're gonna cut it uh, carefully and this needs a lot of patience it's the longest procedure in all of this cheesecake and you're also gonna take the meat out of the skin of the sapote as you can see i'm doing it take it out of the skin you you are going to take the strong the strong orange part of the sapote not the light orange but the pulp the sweetest part that's the part we want some of it stays stuck in the skin so you're gonna take it off and in the seeds you're gonna repeat it with every sapote and making sure you take all of it all of it because we don't want to waste That we used 250 grams of uh, leche condensada, condensed milk, instead of 300, just to make it uh, less sweet. Now our mixture is all done and we are going to uh, whip the cream cheese. Now we're whipping 500 grams of cream cheese instead of 450 grams. So after whipping our cream cheese, this is how we are going to add our sapote mixture. Mixing it really, really nice with our blender or mixer. I'm already done mixing and I can already see that the mixture is creamier and the sapote is more fresh in this mixture. So I like it a lot. So now we have whipped until half a point, as you can see here. Um, 400 milligrams of uh, milk cream instead of 500. This is our fourth change. I'm going to mix it just like we did in the last trial just a little bit and then mix it with these type of movements so that we incorporate it nicely so another change um an extra ingredient that i added for this trial is that i um i am going to add some food coloring just to make it look uh more orange and make it look like an actual sapote we have hydrated 30 grams of gelatin which is two times the gelatin we hydrated um last time hello try not spilling your gelatin <laughs> please that was my mistake i wanted to show it in the camera <laughs> Okay, so now that we have already fixed that, we're going to add a little bit of our mixture to our gelatin and mix correctly. Now we're going to put it back and we are going to mix. Now we're going to put our mixture in our mold. Please ignore my babada. Distributing it correctly. So after you mix it, you're going to put your batter into the mold and put it in the fridge for two hours time to make the dulce and after the cake has been two hours in the fridge we are going to cut two slices of pineapple and put about half a cup of water in it to mix we are adding uh, about 90 grams of sugar and we are going to keep mixing so i had to add two more slices of pineapple because it tasted like sugar you don't need to add two more slices but use um one tablespoon of sugar maximum because it is very sweet if you put 90 grams so yes i'm not going to use all of these juice in the mirror but um so here are hydrated 15 grams of gelatin and i'm going to put it in my mirror and just mix it 
I added food coloring since I, as I said I wanted to look like a real sapote so that the mirror looks like the like the skin of the sapote and the cheesecake is the the meat of the sapote. Okay, so this is the second part of day two and we can see that the mirror didn't work for some reason, it didn't harden and so this is a big problem. Um, so we're gonna see how it turned out like. Okay. <gasps> no, espera. Okay, so this is my dad filming me. We already threw the mirror out because we couldn't open the cake with the mirror being completely liquid. So I am opening the cake, uh, passing a knife through the edges, you know, just to um, let it loose. Now we are opening it. And we, find, we found out that the texture was really good. It was really still. The cake looked good. But we are gonna see. see. La consistencia está un poquito más dura, pero creo que en la combinación con este cosa verde está un poquito más agria y no quedó tan chévere. Uh -huh. La combinación con fresa estuvo mejor porque le hace más dulcecito. Ese agrio no le quedó tan bien, pero sin embargo sí sigue rico. La base es riquísima y esa consistencia de cheese está bueno.